Welcome to the video tutorial on selecting a Linux distribution and types of installation. Now that we know what Linux is, it is time we learn how we should install it on the computer and choose which distribution we should use. Let us start by understanding what a Linux distribution is. Well, now as you know that Linux is an open source free to use kernel, it is used by programmers, organizations, profit and non-profit companies around the world in order to create operating systems to suit their individual requirements. These versions, types, kinds of Linux operating systems are called distributions or distros. So how many distributions are out there? There are hundreds of Linux operating systems or distributions available these days. Many of them are designed with a specific purpose in mind. For example, to run a web server or to run network switches like routers or modems. The latest example of one of the most popular smartphone based Linux distribution is Android. So let us learn about some popular Linux distros. Starting with Arch Linux, this Linux distro is popular amongst developers. It is an independently developed system. It is designed for users who go for a do-it-yourself approach. The next is the CentOS. It is one of the most used Linux distribution for enterprises and web servers. It is a free enterprise class operating system and is based heavily on Red Hat Enterprise Distro. The next is Gentoo. It is a source based distribution which means you need to configure the code on your system before you can install it. It is not for Linux beginners but it sure is fun for experienced users. Linux Mint. It is one of the most popular desktop distributions available out there. It launched in 2006 and is now considered to be the fourth most used operating system in the computing world. Next is Ubuntu. This is the third most popular desktop operating system after Microsoft Windows and Apple Mac OS. It is based on Debian Linux distribution and it is known for its desktop environment. So which one is the best Linux distribution? Well, each Linux distribution is built for a specific purpose to meet the demands of its target users. Most of the distributions are available for free at their respective websites. You might want to try them one by one till you get to know which distribution you like the most. Each one of them offers its unique design, applications and security. We will be using Ubuntu for our learning purpose as it's easy for a beginner to understand. Now let us look at the various methods we can use to install Linux. The first type of installation is from the USB stick. This is one of the easiest methods of installing Ubuntu or any other Linux distribution on your computer. So let us start with the USB stick installation. For this, you are going to need the Ubuntu ISO or OS files. You can download them by visiting ubuntu.com forward slash download forward slash desktop. Let's visit this page. As you can see here, there are two versions of Ubuntu available free for download. Let us go ahead and download Ubuntu 12.10. The second software that you are going to need is a program which will install the Ubuntu ISO files on the USB stick. So for this, you can install the universal USB installer available for free at pendrivelinux.com. So let us go ahead and download it. So once you have the Ubuntu ISO files and the universal USB installer downloaded on your computer, it's time to run the universal USB installer. The first step is about selecting a Linux distro. The drop down menu here shows the list of different distributions and their versions. We will choose Ubuntu 12.10. Next you need to click on browse and here we have the Ubuntu 12.10 ISO files on the desktop. So go ahead and click on it. Now you need to choose the USB flash drive. So let us go ahead and click on this drop down menu here. It shows that we have a USB stick mounted on the drive I. So let's select it. 
Now if you want to format the USB flash drive before it installs Ubuntu, you can click on Format the Drive. Then click on Create. You would get a pop-up message informing you that the universal USB installer will work on the following actions. Click on Yes. Then the universal USB installer program will start moving the Ubuntu ISO files to the USB stick. Once done, you have the USB stick ready with Ubuntu to install it on your system. So let us go ahead and click on Close. Now your USB stick is in installation media with Ubuntu on it. Now you can boot your computer through this USB stick and you would be able to run Ubuntu without installation. The second method of installation is by Live CD. This is another effective way of installing Linux on your system. For this, you again need to visit ubuntu.com forward slash download forward slash desktop in order to download the ISO files. Once you're done with the download and you have Ubuntu installation files on your computer, burn them to a CD and then you need to boot your computer through the optical drive and follow the instructions as they come. The next and the most popular method to install a Linux operating system is virtual installation. It offers you the freedom of running Linux on an existing operating system already installed on your computer. This means if you have Windows or Mac OS running, then you can just run Linux with the click of a button. Virtual machine software like Oracle VM can install Ubuntu in easy steps. Let us look at them. Again, you first need to download the Ubuntu ISO files on your computer. Then you need to download the installation files for Oracle VM Virtual Box. As we are running on Windows right now, we will go ahead and download these files. So let us download and install Oracle VM on the computer. Once done, you need to click on the Virtual Box icon on your desktop and this is the screen that would open. Then you need to configure the virtual operating system by clicking on New which will create a new virtual machine. You can have multiple OS installations in your virtual machine at the same time. Then click on Next. Type in a name for your virtual machine and then choose the operating system and the version that you would like to install. Click Next and define the memory size for the virtual machine. Right now, the memory allocated for the virtual machine is 512 MB. You can always increase the base memory size for the virtual machine. Then click on Next. Create a new hard disk. This does not create a new drive like C, D or E in your machine. Instead, it creates a VDI which is a virtual disk image. This virtual disk will contain your OS installation. Click on Next and you will find that there are many options to create a virtual disk. Choose VDI which is VirtualBox Disk Image. Select between dynamically allocated or fixed size virtual disk storage. A dynamically allocated virtual disk file will only use space on your physical hard disk which is used by your VM installation. While fixed size will use the entire allocated space in your physical hard drive. Click on Next. Define the location for virtual disk file on your physical hard drive and the file size. The recommended file size is 10 GB. Click on Next. You are then shown a summary screen. Click on Create. And this is the virtual machine that we created. So let's go ahead and power the virtual machine. This will boot Ubuntu on VirtualBox. Now let's go ahead and install Ubuntu. If you want to download updates while installing, you can check this tick box. Let's click on continue. So if you want to go ahead and install Ubuntu directly, you can choose this option here. It will not affect the hard drive, instead will only erase the virtual disk that you have created. Otherwise, if you want to work on the partitions, you can choose something else. 
Let's go ahead with Erase Disk and install Ubuntu right now and click on Continue. You can type in the city you live in here and then you need to click on Continue. Then choose the language that you would want to work with and click on Continue. Now this is an important step and it would define your rights on the Linux system. So put in your name here and then choose the computer name. We will leave it like this. Then you can put in a username of your choice and after that put in a password. Then you can choose any of these two options here and click on continue. Now this would install Ubuntu on your system. Those who want to test the distribution before installing it on a computer and replacing the existing operating system would be surprised to know that you can easily run it from the USB stick or a CD in the trial mode. As you can see here, we have a Try Ubuntu option available. If we go with it, Ubuntu would start in the trial mode and you can easily check out the interface. This way, you can learn whether you like the distribution or not and can either install or move on to another one. You can even install Linux side by side with Windows or any other OS which is called dual booting. Let us quickly summarize what we learned today. An operating system based on the Linux kernel is called a distribution or distro. There are hundreds of distributions available, some of which are designed to accomplish a sole purpose like running servers, act as network switches, etc. Naming the best Linux distribution is difficult as they are made for different needs. Linux can be installed in your system via the below mentioned methods. The first one is the USB stick, the second one is the live CD and the third one is virtual installation. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next tutorial.